Perhaps there's something at home I forgot to do that I should go and do. <laughs> the Hundred Acre Wood and its animal family come to life on stage at Theater Row on West 42nd Street in Disney's Winnie the Pooh, the new musical stage adaptation. As usual, it's a fun-filled adventure as Pooh is in search of honey, and its characters have entertained fans in books and movies since 1921, when the characters were created by English author A. A. Milne and illustrated by H. H. Shepard. Emily Rose is one of the puppeteers in the show, bringing the lovable character of Piglet like to literally to life. It's a lovely show full of childhood memories. Um, you have Winnie the Pooh going on an adventure to find honey through all the seasons, and you have Eeyore, Piglet, and um, we all kind of lean on each other throughout this time and learn lots of lessons. The production added two special events for the summer, nostalgia night for older fans who grew up with Pooh, and a sensory friendly night designed to entertain children on the autism spectrum. We have um, the lights in the house up, up, we have the sound a bit lower, we have some of the more overwhelming sounds um, that we kind of cut from it, but what's really great is that those that may not feel comfortable coming to the theater can have a space that they can fully express and enjoy the show. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. The production runs until this Sunday, after which Pooh and Friends, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, and Christopher Robin, and the whole Hundred Acre Wood head out for a national tour. And Piglet is having a ball. Um, well, I, I feel very fortunate um, to be at the Hundred Acre Wood with all my friends, and it's a lot of fun. Well, their last sensory-friendly show was on Wednesday, but their final nostalgia show is tonight, uh, with performances ending tomorrow. Now, the Hundred Acre Theater is located at Theater Row, 410 West 42nd Street. And for tickets and more information, you can visit WinnieThePooShow.com. All right, coming up, it sounds unthinkable, but could the boathouse in Central Park be closing? We'll have the latest on one of the most iconic locations in the park.